Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another 33 Days of Holidays video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, age paper and make them into a little journal insert. Like in my last video, I was going to, in my last video, I was showing you how to bind the book. I'm now showing you how to make the pages of that book. So, what you're going to need are the cup you're going to put your ingredients in, and you're going to need, what I'm using is whole cloves, some ground cinnamon, and then some Mexican vanilla bun. I'm just going to use a little bit of this because I don't want, it, want my papers to get too sticky. Um, but you're going to want this tray to catch any runoff when you start to age your pages. And you're going to need a pot and two cups of water. So let's go ahead and do that. So, one cup of water. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your tea that is going to age the paper. Now what I'm going to do is put in a couple of cloves, like so, Blop. and then I'm going to put in maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then just a dash of this Mexican vanilla blend just a dash and then we're going to set the oven on or no the stove on high, and then we're going to cover it and let it boil, and then I will tell you what to do next when we get to that point. Okay, so I've been letting the water boil for as long as it took me to transfer my other video to my computer which took about 25 to maybe 30 minutes maybe less I don't know it took a long time but we're going to turn off the stove and bring our pot over here going to strain what we just made. Now, I did have a strainer, but I don't know where it is. So I put a, a coffee filter on the griddle grid spatula thing, which should catch up some of the cinnamon that is in here, since it, since it is ground up cinnamon. It will definitely catch the cloves. But we're going to pour it into our cup. Ooh. Let it soak for a moment. And it should be going. It's all good. Soak it, soak it. Pour it, soak. Okay, maybe we won't use. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess we could get away with not using this. The ground cream is not as best I thought it would be. Um, but we're just going to strain it through this thing. Ooh, right to the burn. And then let's cut the off to the side. basically. So we're going to set that over here and it's, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam coming up off of this cup. So I think I'm going to let it uh, cool down for a minute and then I'll be right back. Alright, so we've let our tea cool down. Um, so what we're going to do is take our paper. So what we're going to do is, since we're working with journal inserts, you want to make sure that your paper is the correct length and width that you want it. Now, I'm not going to be making a book out of these, but these will be in a future video. But if you are making a book, um, then just cut your paper length and width wise. And then if you have a tea bag, then you can use your tea bag, but I'm using a piece of paper towel. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our paper into our tray so that any runoff liquid falls into the nether regions of our tray. And then we're going to lightly coat our paper with the mixture. And from the smell of this, I could smell this from walking to my room from the kitchen, which is a pretty good way. Um, so there's that, and if you want a deeper color, then you can definitely put all of your tea inside of the tray and soak your paper in it for longer. But because we're running on time, then we can do this. This is what I do because I run on limited time and I want to make sure that things get dry. Now, what I like to do since we're just doing a washing is to do the front and to uh, wash the back but this is a pretty good color, which means it should stain the paper pretty well. So it will turn out pretty good, and it's going to smell great. So we've got that covered. And the last thing we are going to do is we are going to let our paper dry. So I have a piece of just plastic you can get at Lowe's or at Walmart um, but we're going to slowly and carefully take our paper out of the tray we don't want it to tear so do it very slowly and carefully and then we're just going to lay our paper out on this plastic and I'll show you the finished product in a couple hours, I guess. So our paper started off uh, a pinkish color before it dried, and now the paper is kind of dried. 
And now they're this pinkish, darkish, reddish, brownish color. But this is our final product. Here, let's find this one. So if you can tell the difference in what we had before and what we have now, there you go. If you hit the uh, like this video, then hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like these, then uh, leave me it down in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Bye, guys.